watching a demonstration of the most authentic cap pistol in the world. It has exclusive fanning action and shoots safe shooting shells with greeny stickum caps. The gun and hip slung Mattel holster are specially made for a fast draw. All of Mattel's shoot and shell fanners and holsters carry the true stamp of the Old West. And every boy will walk tall when he wears a holster and pistol with a Mattel brand. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Hello, people. Today, we're going to talk about parlor pistols. Remember, guns are not toys. Unless, of course, it's a toy gun that looks real, and now there's real guns that look like toys? This is disturbing. Let's move along. So what is a parlor pistol, you ask? This is how you want to do it. This is how you win my game. Shoot the whole star out, you can take anything I have in here. For the lack of a better word, it's a toy. These guns were made uh, as entertainment for people who were already uh, very accomplished with firearms. But specifically, these guns were meant to be used in the parlor of a home or a saloon or gallery. And that's, that's where they get their name. The concept of a self-contained bulleted cartridge was first developed in 1845 by French inventor Louis Nicholas Augusta Flaubert and then ultimately patented by Smith and Wesson in 1854. On the left, we start with a 22 BB cap, 22 nail gun blank, 22 short in the middle, 22 long rifle, and then a 22 magnum on the end. Using anything but a 22 BB cap in this pistol would probably uh, cause damage to the uh, to the spring or the firing mechanism. Uh, probably wouldn't do any damage to the barrel, but uh, a too powerful of a cartridge will automatically cock the hammer after firing and then the cartridge is going to come flinging out towards your face so uh, it's not advisable to use anything other than a 22 bb cap which shouldn't be mistaken for a 22 cb cap which i don't actually have in my collection uh, but the bb cap and the cb cap are very different bb cap stands for bulleted breech cap which is essentially the first rimfire cartridge the first self-contained cartridge and uh, many will argue that it's the first center fire cartridge since uh, the case of this bb cap was simply made from a percussion cap and a percussion cap is not a rimfire. A percussion cap is made to be struck um, all around its, its uh, full circumference. So calling it a center fire is probably a little bit of a stretch, but it's certainly the first rimfire cartridge. Percussion cap style firearms were first invented in 1820. And the first percussion cap style revolver was invented by Colt in 1836. The percussion cap itself being just a brass cup with primer component placed inside would be put on top of what it's called a nipple and when the hammer falls and strikes the percussion cap the discharge will travel through the nipple into the chamber discharging the gunpowder propelling the projectile downrange. After Lewis Flaubert invented his ammunition in 1845, several companies would come out with different types of firearms to accommodate this very low-powered novelty ammunition. Ernie was a very, very meticulous record keeper. 
to end out this video, I'm going to let you read from Ernie's gun book. These are the pages that Ernie created uh, to keep track of this particular firearm in his collection. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. No what? No what? I just switched to New No Neat. And got more. More? Got a company I can trust. That's a heck of a lot more. Over two years of great savings and service. You can't argue with more. Why would you? Nico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more.